Today I'm back at Chalom Latanagosin National Park. It's a beautiful place, a you know, beautiful national park. Great place for a little uh, day visit, you know. It's a lovely hike. Now what most people do is, is right near the entrance, they've, uh, they've got this entrance to a spectacular cave and, and uh, you can walk through it and it's, it's quite long. It's probably about half a kilometre long and it's lit up, it's beautiful. And uh, you know, it's something that you can do very easy, but that would be far too easy. So what myself and Baldy Brian are gonna do, we're actually gonna hike right up the mountain. <laughs> As you can see, like the cave is really nicely, like beautiful lit. Though I think the lights go off about four in the afternoon. At the beginning, there's a little bit where you've got to duck your head. But, <coughs> it doesn't go on for long. It's probably only about 20, 30 meters. We're out lovely and cool in here. It's like uh like, I mean, like perfect air conditioning. Beautiful. If it weren't for the constant smell of bat shit, <laughs> it would be bliss. Garden. Guano, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what all the dope growers use. <laughs> Back guano, isn't it? That's it, clear of the cave now, into the forest. Beautiful scenery. The river flowing into the cave. As I recall, we've got to walk probably about one and a half kilometers through the forest before we start to ascend the mountain. But it's a nice walk. In fact, that's something I really like about visiting this national park is, you know, the, the climb up the mountain is steep and intense, but you don't actually have to walk that far, you know, and, it, and it's very doable as a day trip, you know, it's a really nice rounded day trip. You've got like the cave at the bottom, you've got the cave at the top, and they're both beautiful in their own way. It's just, it's just a really good hike, really good hike, you know, really, uh, you know, one of Kanchanaburi's best kept secrets, this, you know, De definitely worth a visit. Enormous fallen tree. Yeah. 
So once you come out of the cave, the the, uh, the next kilometre, uh, kilometre and a half, you know, it's just, it's through the forest, but it's easy going, you know, uh, flat, very, very well marked trail. No chance of getting lost. Lovely. Look at that, it's not like cow yai. Yeah, they actually have like step ladders to help you get over the logs. <laughs> this is posh jungle. Now remember, whenever you see a distance marker in a Thai national park, they are lying. <laughs> it's always further than what they say, always. Get steep.
opening up to a nice clear view for the first time. Beautiful. How's that? Very near to the cave at the top there. Beautifully, it's so cool. Nice, cool breeze. And so the cap. And wait till the pan up.
now now we're at the uh at the top of this complex the uh the national park goes on quite a bit further and it joins on to some wildlife sanctuaries and they've actually photographed a few years ago wild tigers here so they've actually got wild tigers in this national park which you know i love here the place is always more exciting when you know there's a there are tigers hanging around <laughs> One final bridge and into the monastery. When people ask me why I took up hiking, I always give them the same answer, Pythagoras. Yes, the guy who caused suffering and confusion to untold millions of school children also said, leave the roads, take to the paths. Life-changing stuff. So it's Baldy Brian checking out from another mountain somewhere in Thailand.